Eric Fankhauser here. I'm six weeks out with my son Xavier. Um, diet's been going pretty good. Training's been going pretty good. Uh, things that I've changed up this week um, in my diet. I'm starting to do my uh, high lows, medium days with my carb rotation. And the tighter and closer I get to my show, the tighter the diet gets. Um, my protein sources are pretty much staying the same. But the things that I'm changing right now, uh, I'm dropping my carbs. Every few weeks, I'm going to keep dropping my carbs. Um, right now, my low days are at 50 grams of carbs. Um, the days that I do not train, the days where I'm just doing cardio, uh, the days that I train my small body parts, uh, I'm taking in 100 grams of carbs. And the days that I train my lagging body parts, my chest and my back, I'm taking in 350 to 400 carbs uh, session. Um, things that I've changed with my training, uh, basically um, I've added a cardio session at six weeks out. So right now I'm doing 30 minutes of cardio in the morning and 30 minutes of cardio uh, post training. Um, as I get closer, I'll probably add another session uh, depending on what my body looks like. Um, uh, what I was going to show you in this video blog uh, was some lifestyle um, footage. Uh, the first thing I wanted to show you was the gym that I train at. I've trained at uh, a few different gyms, um, but for the Olympia, I'm going to stick to the body shop uh, to where, where everything started for me in bodybuilding, um, taking it back to the basics. Um, uh, basically, I mean, the Body Shop's an awesome gym. It has um, everything that I need. And you can see in, in the video here that there's not a lot of glitz and glamour at the Body Shop, and that's how I like it. And it got me started in the bodybuilding and training for the Olympia. I'm going to make sure that I put all my time in here. Um, basically, you can see in the video that um, uh, there's some writing on the wall. Every time I do my squats, uh, I'm looking at that writing on the wall and I read that before I do uh, my uh, actual squats there in the, the rack. And then you'll see some different pictures of me throughout the gym and some different motivational pictures, uh, animal ads, a whole bunch of things that I look at while I'm training to keep me going in the gym. And then there's uh, a lot of pictures of people that actually train in the gym and um, it's nice to see them uh, putting pictures up of everybody and the body shop has uh, treated me really nice um, the owner Rick Biardi is awesome anything I ever need when I'm at the, at the gym he gets me uh, he lets me train there after hours um, so if I ever need to get in late cardio sessions or train after work sometimes he lets me do that so just wanted to tell you thanks Ricky for uh, uh, always letting me train at the body shop and getting me started in the bodybuilding um, a few other things that I wanted to talk about. Uh, a lot of people ask me how I balance everything out while I'm doing bodybuilding with family and work. Um, it's very hard when you're, when you're in contest prep. You always want to be focused just on contest, 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 and you gotta actually balance things out and you gotta uh, spend time with your family and do different activities. And uh, it is tough. Working a, working a job and having a family, but I always try to uh, spend time with them. A few things that we like to do, uh, me and my little man here, X, uh, one of the things that we like to do is we like to go fishing. Uh, that's one thing that really relaxes me, and uh, I really enjoy doing that with him. He enjoys it, and we do that on when I'm in contest prep a lot, and we do it uh, when I'm not dieting also. But I mean, it's fun, it, it passes the time. Um, he's a better fisherman than me, right? Yeah, he catches a lot more fish than I do. And uh, it's pretty neat because every time he catches the fish, he always tells me I can eat it on my diet. Right, X? You gonna catch me a big one? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it's just a, a matter of um, not putting too much time into anything and just balancing everything out. When it comes down to it in the end, I mean, your family is what you really got. I mean, bodybuilding is nice, but um, when it comes down to it, uh, after bodybuilding's over, your family's still going to be there, so you don't want to ever lose track of that. 
um, while you're bodybuilding. Well, we've got six more weeks left and hopefully um, next time I do my video blog, we'll uh, talk to you about some dieting tips, how we change the dieting, what we changed with my training, and uh, talk to you about some uh, supplements that I'll be changing up at five weeks out. Thanks guys.